Uh, my name is Nathan, and I'm here today to offer a testimonial as far as uh, the benefit, my experience and the benefits with hyperbaric oxygen treatment at uh, Dr. Spiegel's practice. Uh, a little bit of background. Um, I've been in the military for over 20 years now. Uh, active duty National Guard, activated National Guard. Uh, struggled with the, um, the impact of TBI throughout the military career. When we went to Iraq, the uh, combination of uh, blast damage, uh, falling sometimes um, uh, through some of the operations there, uh, made it difficult to concentrate. Things were very different, and it was very difficult to um, to feel like you were the person you were before, very distant and detached. I didn't know if, if things were ever going to be truly right again, and, and primarily the, the memory and the ability to focus was getting uh, worse and worse, and so I'd seen a couple different neurologists, um, and then I was re uh, recommended um, uh, by another doctor to, to seek out Dr. Spiegel, and when I did, it was, it was such a big change. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, the the staff, the doctor, like everything, um, it felt like a family. It felt very um, very encouraging to get better, not just uh, not a slam on anybody else, but not just to prescribe pills and and hope to you know hope for the best. It was the first place where we felt like we were proactively working towards a solution, not just a band-aid on a problem. The other, you know, the, the second really amazing thing about coming here was access to hyperbaric oxygen treatment um, or therapy, which I'd heard about and didn't really know much about until I met Dr. Spiegel and started uh, listening and doing my own research and talking to a lot of people on the, on the military medical side. I expected a lot, but was still kind of blown away by the results. The first thing that started coming back was uh, recollection of names. And it was it was random stuff. It was names of an or name of an actor in a movie, or name of an old associate that I could kind of remember the face, kind of remember the time frame when I knew him or her. But then I was actually getting the names back, and I joked around with my wife, you know, that it felt like uh, I asked her, you know, what is this weird superpower called memory and recollection of of, of uh, details. This is the first time in a long time that I've uh, been hopeful enough to start thinking about long-term goals. My, my intent is to achieve a spot to compete in the uh, Warrior Games that the uh, United States SOCOM is hosting in Tampa in, in, in June of this year, I'm, I'm sorry, of 2019. And then if I can perform well enough, my, my hope is to um, compete the following year in 2020 in, uh, in the Invictus Games. Um, and just being able to think clearly enough and be hopeful enough to, to set that goal um, has been so helpful. It's, it's a good feeling to feel like we're still in the fight in, in some way, even if it's just a fight with competing against ourselves and um, haven't felt that way in a long time. So I'm, I'm very grateful to do that and um, for the opportunity to do that and, and honestly couldn't have done it without, without the help of this office.